Hello. So my name is Yana, and in August of 2021, I decided to open a candle business on Etsy. And then in like February of 2022, I closed it down. That's neither here nor there because I just wanted to show people how I made my labels when I was making my candles. I'm going to show you guys what like software I was using. Okay, so first things first, we start with uh, design. What I use to design my candles is Canva. I personally pay for Canva Premium. The great thing about Canva is I feel like I personally, I have these ideas, but it's hard for me to like actually put them onto like paper or in this case, like a label. So they have templates that you can use. For example, if you like look up candle logo, you can see some inspiration that you do not want to copy too heavily because like, why would you do that? But you can like pull some inspiration from like each one of these, like, oh, I like that font and oh, I like that color scheme, whatever. But you can just start scratch if you would like, um, in which case you just go up here and click create a design. Um, and then you need to decide what size you want it to be. If you have like a specific size that you know your label is going to be once you print it out, then you can input that. What I did is I went to create a design. What design am I creating? It's a label. Uh, mine were landscape, but you can make yours like a circle if you want yours to be a square. Just depends on what your jar is and what vibe you're going for, I suppose. This is the template that I used when I was making my candles. It's called Ella, I suppose, for this fake perfume brand. And uh, basically I just took this and I made it my own to the best of my ability. Um, so I can show you exactly what mine ended up looking like. These are the candles I was selling on my Etsy shop. So as you can see right here, we have the original and then here we have mine. So I'm going to, just to show you guys what the process would look like, I'm gonna start with this again and then kind of show you guys how I would edit it to make it my own. So again, we are in good old Lynchburg VA. And then I don't want that going down to the next line. So I'm just gonna make this a bit longer. And then reallygreatsite.com sounds great. Uh, but we're going to plug our social media. Actually, if I could go back and do this again, I'd probably plug my Etsy shop. So we're gonna go ahead and do Etsy slash Avalon Rose Co. And then we see it. these aren't even, so we'll go ahead and even these out. Uh, that's probably French for perfume. We're gonna change that to our brand name. And then um, we'll keep that the same because this is not real. And then what should the scent of our new candle be? I always wanted to have a scent called Moonlight. Let's not give away too many ideas. We'll call this scent Avalon uh, because we love Avalon. Make it a bit smaller so it can fit in the box. And then this border is kind of thick. Um, so what we can do with this is we can go ahead and go to elements. And from here, we'll go ahead and type in border. And then you see we have all these other results. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this and put this in its place. And then with the border, maybe I don't want it to be quite that dark. Um, so I can go to this color grid over here and lighten it up a bit. And I like that, but now this color is a bit weird. So I can go up here and um, Avalon, she might be a red. 
I think she's a red just because when I first got her, she was three months old and I went to Petco and got her a red collar. Uh, but again, now you see that looks weird against the background. So what we're going to do, so this background is, it took me a while to actually figure out what the heck was up with this background. Uh, but basically what this is, is it's just like a plain orange background. And then someone, you see how it's like textured? So someone took like a kind of grunge type aesthetic and it like attached it to the orange background. I'm not explaining this well, but basically what we're going to do to change the color is going to detach the image from the background. You see, so this is like that textured thing that we've been looking at. And then here's just the color of the background. So we can go ahead and change this color. Um, you know, I think now that I'm saying Avalon is probably a red. So we're going to make that red and then put that back. And you see we've attached the red background to like that grunge type texture. So I kind of, I low key like it, I don't know. But this font, we can go ahead and change that. Um, I think this font looks like kind of cool. And this is up in my, that was up in my recently used because that is just like actually one of my favorite fonts. I wasn't just clicking on the first one I saw. It, is, it does come with the premium. Honestly, guys, like the premium, if you're going to be using this regularly, I honestly think it's worth it. And then we're gonna change the color of the font over here, maybe to match. And you see it right here are the colors that we're already using in our document. So any color that we've used on this label is going to come up up here. That way it makes it easy for us to match the color. That way we don't have to take this and like drag it all across to try and match the color that we already have right here. Um, so we're going to uh, change all of these. But now that I've done that, this seems too light. So we're gonna make this, I don't think black. And then we want to have something around the border perhaps. So we're gonna go back into elements. And then from here, maybe we can put like rows border and you see always how I start when I have an idea is I just literally type the idea in my head into the search bar so rose border something might have come up something might not have come up but it can't hurt just take what you're thinking and just type it in and try it and then from there we'll go ahead and shrink this down and maybe put this on this corner so we'll go ahead and duplicate this this on the other corner. So now that I have it like that, I'm feeling like this red in the background is just a bit too much. So I'm gonna detach and kind of make this, what's cool is now it's taking colors from the photo that I'm using um, and adding that here so I can kind of customize the background to fit the elements in the logo. So I'm gonna try that one. I like her. So now that we've done that, I don't think it's appropriate to have this red as beautiful and sexy as it is. Let's just go ahead and like, and then we're going to do the same for our writing on the sides. This is cute. So this is our finished label for our hypothetical candle. I just feel like I've kind of outgrown the labels I was using previously all together. So I spelled Avalon wrong and no one was gonna tell me, huh? I think she's cute. Would I ever use this personally? No, but hasn't this been a great example of how you can like create a candle label from, I wouldn't say from nothing, but how you can take something and turn it into something else. Like that's what this has all been about. So that's how I made my candle labels. 
I am not making them like this currently. I'm not making any labels currently. I shut down my shop. How to actually like get this design onto like a physical label is like a different story. I am trying to post videos more consistently. So I think my next video will most definitely be actually like how to print your label, how to take the design from Canva and put it onto a physical label. So definitely stay tuned.